Hello traders, this is Mike Billion. Today is May 23rd, 2017, and let's talk about the market. Let's start with the S&P futures. As you can see here, price bounce from this support that it was resistant back in April when we break out and move sideways for a month. So now we are back to the trending range and we can still move sideways here until something big comes out, especially from the government. We have taxes, the budget, the Trump impeachment. Um, there is a lot of things that can move the market, but I think the market is bullish. Don't let anybody tell you that the market is bearish or it's going to come down. The market is bullish. Now, the hard thing here is if we move sideways, especially for people that trade auctions, is sometimes it's worse than the market being bearish. Because if the market is bearish, you can make money when the market goes down. But the market moving sideways, but being bullish, you go bullish, but you lost all your money because the, the sideways. So I will say that you have to trade here very careful uh, and buy a lot of time when you buy calls because we're going to go up. Now let's talk about another one. Let's talk about Apple. Apple, as you can see here, this is a um, five years channel, multi-year uh, resistant right here 2012 2015 and looks like we gonna go to Fibonacci and trend resisting 164 that's the key number and my target I think we're gonna go there before July it's bullish and it's strong it's just consolidating a little bit here but I think in no time we're gonna go to 164 Apple is bullish now let's talk about Amazon Amazon is another one that is really bullish and I have been saying this for a long time that uh, Amazon is going to hit a thousand because Wall Street love the, the thousand number so it's going to go there even if you don't want to because it's going to go there and it's trending there no even last um, drop on Wednesday didn't do anything to the stock no even touch the 20 simple moving average so I think it's going to go there before you like, probably consolidate a little bit here, but continue to Fibonacci 1015 or 1015. Amazon is bullish. Baidu, this is another one that is really nice, really bullish. Breakout major symmetrical triangle wedge, and there is time for you to get in. It break out, it retests the breakout, and now it's trending up to 198 bullish and strong this one is really bullish and strong so you just make your decision caterpillar caterpillar breakout this small uh, resistance right here and confirm the breakout is really bullish also and is heading to 110 Fibonacci which is my next target or the top of the channel will be 112 113 caterpillar is bullish so let me show you this one. This is really nice, but it needs confirmation. I entered on this one around here and I lost money on when it, it moved sideways slowly to the downside. But I'm watching right now because it's, it's trying to it break out this resistance here. This is uh, fast. This is a direction shell financial bull per tree. So if it confirms the breakout about today's high, which is 44.51, this thing has no resistance until $51. I think this one you have to put it in your watch list. ADX is really low, meaning a major move can come from here. So you have to put this one in your watch list, but wait until it break out. It confirms the breakout about $44.51. Write down that number. Now let's talk about another one. Let's talk about Facebook. Facebook went to the top of the channel and I say be careful there. Uh, don't get short, but don't get, you know, don't get long because it's at the top. Wait for a little correction so you can enter. It looks like he tests the 4145 and it bounces. You see the, the the bounce right here. But the directionals and the DMI are very close together. So I don't know what to tell you. It's just leave it in your watch list. I wouldn't enter here because there is nothing to trade. You know, it bounces and it's moving sideways for three days. So, just keep an eye on that one, but nothing to trade on Facebook right now. This is the iShares Russell's. This one is also back in the training range. Um, you see this? 
is back here after a breakout right here. Nice move in November, December. Then it has been moving sideways between 140 and 133. I think it's going to continue moving sideways until a major news comes out. But this consolidation here means that it's going to break out and the breakout is going to be very nice. So keep an eye on this one. Uh, I will say watch the top, which is 142 to enter long. Now let's talk about Momo. A lot of people talk about Momo. It reports today they beat expectation. It went up 4%, but it finished 4% down. So I'm including this one in my video because it's a very interesting chart. You know, it's right at this three months uh, short term support and it's breaking down the Fibonacci 39.57. But there is. DMI bullish and I think we can move sideways here and continue up. This is a very strong stock that has been trading since December. It was uh, $17 and it went up to $45. So this is a very strong stock but I will buy it on a correction. Let's, let's see if we can buy at $32. That would be amazing. Now, wait until it break out, break down this short term support, but I wouldn't short this one because Momo is very strong. I'm going to show you a, a, a backstop that is really, really weak, and this is the kind of stuff you wanted to short, Yelp. Yelp is, is going down, and you can see here it failed at 34.2, and DMI is really bearish and is strong. So this one, there's a gap here at $34, but this one has a little support at $27, at 20, yeah, $27. If you break down below $27, I don't see much support until uh, $20 or $16. Bearish. This is the kind of stock you want to short. Not, don't short mama, short gel. Now let's talk about another one. Let's talk about Win. This is a Win Resorts. Let me show you. And it's moving sideways here. It's consolidating, but I think it's gonna break out. Today it finished about 125 yesterday, and today it confirmed the breakout, but finished down. It's just moving sideways, but it's bullish and it's strong. It's giving you a lot of opportunity to enter long. I think the target is 137. Bullish Win Resorts. And the last one that I wanted to talk about is. Nabidia. Nabidia is right testing the 138 or 139 Fibonacci. It's really strong and I think the target will be 150. It can move sideways a little bit between 139 and 134, but as soon as the market starts moving up, this is the one you want to go because it just break out the 120, but it's moving sideways because there is a lot of room for 150 or 160. Nvidia is bullish. Traders, join my billion. Go to join and look at the promotion that I have. You get my videos, you get my mentoring, you get my alerts, and you get to trade with me lifetime for only one-time payment. So check it out. Join my billion. This is everything for today. Trade on.